Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. like no one is getting a decent night's rest in Dawnstar, stranger. Best buy your steel and move on. Nightmares? I haven't met a single man or woman who doesn't admit to having them. A bad dream I can handle. But everyone having the same bad dream every night? It's a curse, I say. I hear there's a priest of Mara visiting the inn. Maybe the divines will cure us. My wife Saren and I run it together. She's still Smith's even though we found out she is with child. Our son or daughter isn't going to get much Redguard culture here in Skyrim. I know my wife worries how she will pass along her traditions. Hey, if you find a book called Night Falls on Sentinel, could you bring it to me? It's a story from my wife's people. Be good to have. Good on you. All right then. The Wind Peak Inn features the finest bard in all of Dawnstar. Me. Yes. Ever since my mother died a few winters ago. I play songs and help with the drinks when I have the time. My mother taught me. She was a bard from the College in Solitude. I hear they accept most people who apply, if you're ever interested. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Father, 
Do you want to talk about my... These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Bermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares, not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Follow me. It's this way. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult. Tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple's been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her.
Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Behold the Skull of Corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woe. We must reach the Inner Sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. This way, my son. For Dawnstar! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrong. I'll still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. More holds that the Skull of Corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The Skull has been out of touch for so long, I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. 
We mustn't tarry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. It's just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the Awakened within. library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. I hope the tome we need is still intact. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level.
Let me take a look. More will be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. All believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of Vermina. I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Now that they've been dealt with, we need to find the torpor. It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark liquid. If you find it, bring it to me. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far. But you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drink. Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Let's continue. We still have much to do.
The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thoric, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers. Worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. We must get to the skull and destroy it. Take me, they've awakened.
never should have come back. Thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies! I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Is someone there? Vermina! I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? No, you mustn't listen to them. They speak only lies and deception. Had we aided them in releasing the skull, they would use it to wreak havoc across Skyrim. They... They had to die. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. Upon you, Lady Mara. A skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. I can take you to any port on the coast. Where are you headed? 
Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Thank you for your patronage. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torik was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. <coughs> trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury. My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. And here's something for your trouble. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. You're home! Can I get a few gold to spend? Please? Thanks! 